Third mic, are you working? Yo, 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 hell no, I gotta, it's a, some, I don't know. Uh, hey, what up, what up, what up, it's another fantastic episode of The Late Guys. We are very late, damn near 40 minutes late, Experience, experiencing technical difficulties, I have no idea what's going on, I can only assume that it's the Illuminati. Yeah, they hate you know. Me and Cardi B. Boy. Uh, as a side, let me know. Uh... <coughs> We like what, what more can I say? It's the conceit of nobody. Uh, I guess we fashionably late. Fashionably late, yeah. But know. anyway, you know who I am. This is Latouris, and I'm here with the guys. Uh, you want to introduce yourself to the people who don't know you? But everybody should know you. Corey, aka GQ Fresh, aka the outgoing introvert. I forgot my other moniker. Huh? I forgot my other moniker, but we here. Then we got. It's me, man. The only real nigga. Man, don't on be this no disgruntled nah, ass. Nigga. I ain't yeah, disgruntled. Yeah, yeah. I just realized that I'm the only one on this panel who <laughs> knows what he's talking about. <laughs> You've got two people on this panel. You got Corey Latouris, and you got me. What? That means y'all got the same opinion. The crowd will know at the end. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah, I our mean, viewers have you no lashing thing. out. Yeah, he, yeah. You emo- look just, at you, emotional. I just, I just set the stage. You emotional. I'm laughing with you. Hey, it's all, so it's all, he's yeah. emotional. I saw him feeling pretty tight because we won't agree with his assessment <laughs> that the NBA needs to be fucking broken down into two, two leagues. Gays. Two leagues and 20 games. Two leagues or shorter amount of games. He, go ahead. Go ahead. No, was, it's bad, though. He said, he said that the NBA's... Uh, it, 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 he said it should be like at least seven championship teams a year. That's what I'm gathering. He said yeah, that if you're not playing for first, you shouldn't even be playing. Like state basketball, one day. He said, five, eight, no, he, said he said the reason for the uh, regular season is not good enough to have a regular season. Which he he said that the only thing sure that he, he he said the only thing he can think about is beneficial is the finances, which finances make the world go round, especially in this capitalistic society. That's what they play the game for. So if you take money out of the equation and shit of the whole entire purpose of the league, there's no reason to have a basketball league anyway. You right. So what I said was shorten the league. The the games, the games. How many games well, it's an eighty two game season. It's been an eighty two game season ever since I've been watching basketball. Yeah. Why is this uh, why does it make a difference now? Except for like the Give me six a game. <coughs> down huh? six a game. For what? More competitive? You think six it has got to be how? more competitive. Yeah, you got, if you, bad, you got less games to catch bad, back up. If you bad 30 uh, games of the season, you're going to be bad 82 games of the season. Why not 30 games? Why not make it a college season? Yeah. Well, how many, how many teams in the league? The same amount of teams. How many teams? 29? 32. 32. God damn it. Yeah. Like, Enough to get everybody play play each person twice. 30. It's 30. 29. 30. It's an even number. Whatever play each, each person twice. And that's it. So, that's all you need. So... And then the teams that are quote unquote got you know a chance to do something, and I don't know somehow they can make those games work. So I'm sure they do already, right? With home field and all that, but I don't need to see 82 games. Most people ain't watching the league until playoffs. I'm one of those. I'm 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 high level not a fan of NBA basketball anymore. I'm not even. I'm I casually keep up with it. It's a lot of buddy and, ball. And I think I think what it is it's always been buddy ball. I mean like. I'm gonna go play with my friend, Buddy Ball. Yeah, like that, that ain't the reason why I don't watch yeah. it. I think I I thought I just outgrew it, but I think it might be that my team not as competitive as it usually be. Who's your team? I'm a Laker fan. Ah, I'm yeah, he going so through I, that it. That could partially be it because when like when the Lakers got a um, a game they putting on TV, they hyping it up. I try to make sure I watch. Like and Magic just got fined fifty thousand dollars for tampering, and he didn't even say shit. He got AIDS, everything. He say shit. <laughs> you, know, you got to be careful. What you think ain't nothing and shit, a simple sneeze can kill you. You Man. have to be careful around Magic Johnson. Obviously, he had a normal son until he sneezed on him, and we see what happened with that. Now he carrying purses and shit. Anyway, <laughs> we back. Another fantastic show is on deck. You already know who he is. You already know how we do. We don't know how long we're going to be here tonight. Uh, first off, I got off work. Super late, had me in Terre Haute uh, slaving. That's what the clan was invented at. The clan was invented in Terre Haute. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Shout out to the clan. Uh, That's probably where they had you down there plotting to uh, kill you. You know what? I down there can fucking guarantee that I'm not going to get killed by no motherfucking <laughs> crackers, no Ku Klux Klan, or none of that shit. Except when I do be out there working them sun downtowns. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll be out there. They be having me in a little town. Like today I went to a town called Newport. And I had to go through a, through a town called Ma- Massazuma. 
And I'm mm. like, I've never heard of these motherfuckers. I ain't never heard of neither one of them. So I, I'm in there risking my life and shit to deliver a motherfucker. Uh, I don't even like if I if I get killed out there on that motherfucker job, like I don't even know like what was the mission, like yeah. what did I accomplish? I'm like, oh, at least I got rid of the pallets, the stuff yeah. on the pallets, <laughs> things like that. That's, I mean, that's a, that's how come you want to have a job with some kind of purpose. If you are gonna have a job, and that's how come I'm like not content with. This so called job, I hate. Like I, I hate when people act like they love their job. Like they be on social media talking about on my way to the money, to the crib, to the. Uh, they be saying all that. Goofy on my way to get the bag. Yeah, like they be. But some people do love their job. No, they don't. They love having a job. You think that's what they it love, is? Because if, if a motherfucker was getting paid for that shit, they wouldn't do it. So like if you're teachers, not, if you're not doing something that you would do for free, I don't think you love your job. Like, I think I, you're just doing a job. I think if you're a teacher, you didn't go because they don't make shit. I mean, to teach and to put up with students and shit, you have to want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to drive a truck. I don't want to get on the back of a truck, wait for a lift to get, <laughs> go up on the lift gate, go jack some shit on the pallet, turn it around, bzzz, go back down, knock on people's doors, worry about their dogs attacking me because they've been trying to attack niggas. Uh-huh. But it's not that day yet. The war hasn't started, so calm down, calm down. What are you doing? Man. And I be thinking he's only doing what he's trying to do, Janet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, like, when people make suggestions to people, like, when, like, when they ain't got no job, they tell you some shit like, hey, you know, McDonald's hiring. McDonald's is hiring, yeah. Motherfuckers say that shit, and then they follow up with, a job is a job. Hey, it's and that's a- the most stupid shit I've ever heard, man. And I I feel like I feel like anybody who suggests that somebody going to work at McDonald's should be shot in the face. I follow somebody on uh, social media, and he got, like, a, a de- he got a real decent job. So he always posting job. Like hiring is and shit, and so I'm like, damn. It, I like, I don't know if he like dissing people who ain't got jobs, or he like actually looking out for people. Like, oh, don't like you can't go get no job like me. That's like, all you be saying. I mean, that's how uh, I take it. But yeah. it do some of those cashers do kind of be along those lines. They like, oh, look, even if you got a felony, FedEx is hiring. Ain't no excuse for y'all not to be had no job. I like, but you work for Carrier, and they about to lay off a bunch of more motherfuckers. Yeah. So it's like, you know. Now, what if you end up in that? I don't wish nothing bad on nobody, but like, what if you end up there now? You gotta take your own advice. I, I at least stuff. wish, like you said, you don't wish bad on them. Yeah, I at least wish they get some Ebenezer Scrooge. Ah, scary shit. Like, like something happened where they gotta see the worst case scenario. You being a dickhead. Yeah, you know what I'm saying some shit like that. But I don't like for people to suggest a job to me. Like, yeah. Uh, well, you know that. Or if you tell, if somebody, I ask you, like, <coughs> hey, you know where they hiring? Yeah. Or then yeah. Don't just freely tell me where I could go work at and shit. And like me say, well, why don't you go sell some dope? I used to feel weird if if I if I tell somebody I didn't want to work, like because you know they, the first thing they because they not they we train to be worker bees. We all train since we kids and shit. My mom was bad at me when I was fourteen. I didn't want to get a summer job. Mm. I want to go to fucking summer wreck. Go play. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I want to have fun. I'm, she mad at me and called me lazy because I don't want to go to the fucking job source, <laughs> which is work one these work days. Work one, yeah. To get a fucking job. I'm work like, permit and shit. Like, I don't have responsibilities. Shit, what the fuck I'm going to get a job for? And, like, I think that we taught that if we out here busting our asses and shit, like, we not even taught to work smarter. So we just taught to so work. So you didn't work at all in high school? Uh, yeah, yeah. High school? Was, yeah. That would be staring at like, oh, the fucking idiot. A uh, lazy fucking fool. <laughs> Hell yeah. So but you I was wouldn't, forced. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, my son wouldn't work unless he want to. Yeah. Like right See, now. I wanted to work. And even now, <clears throat> even now, I'm trying to find a way and shit so I can like funnel him into the family business. I'm mm-hmm. trying to create something for him to go into and shit. Not no fucking job. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want this nigga sitting out here. Shitty on a forklift, <laughs> you know. Yeah. What I'm riding on a forklift, shitty, hating this fucking life. Well, I, I feel like my father, and my parents, if they was equipped mentally and shit to uh, prevent me from fucking hating my job, like mm-hmm. they like I always wish that somebody would have created a path for me to follow instead of following the same path they follow blindly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, if <clears throat> if I can't justify, like I always say, and this is a recent fucking revelation that. Alarm clocks are bad. If it's some shit that's waking you up to do some shit you don't want to do. I do not believe in waking up to do something I don't want to do. Mm. You should not have to get up at 730 
Snooze. Seven forty five. Snooze. Mm. Eight something. Now you got to rush. And, and you still together. fucking tired. Like yeah. you should never have to go to a place you do not want to be in. You sleepy. I feel like they want to take Corey to school. Like. I hit that uh, snooze alarm like, damn, I got to get her up. If I was financially able, my daughter would drop out in first grade. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that, though. Yeah. Like she, I, It's a variety of reasons I say that. I say it jokingly, but she'd be homeschooled. Yeah. If I was, it's, it's crazy how everything come back to finances. Yeah. Like everything come back to finances and shit, and the lack of it make you a slave to everything around you. Like uh, you a slave to your alarm clock. You a slave to the fucked up school system. You a slave to the food you eat. Yeah. Like you can't even eat healthy as you want to and shit if your money ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Like we mm-hmm. eat a bunch of a fucking five dollar box. Everybody got a five dollar box of some delicious shit that is gonna kill you. Hey, that five dollar box is everywhere. Like and, and they out here to kill us. And I'm like I think McDonald's not McDonald's, so I definitely say that. I think White Castle like fuck. Dairy Queen got the best five dollar box going right What's now. In it? They got uh, four choices, but I always get the uh, double bacon, cheat like I don't get the cheese. Uh, come with that, fries, a drink, and a sundae. But for an extra dollar, he can upgrade the sundae to a blizzard. You eat ice cream? Yeah. And a cone? Nah. He did, too, so yeah. yeah. Nah, I, I, never, I never ate a cone. <laughs> cone. Right, Everybody ate cone. <laughs> I mean, they was always, cones was always there. Like, I would get a waffle cone Like if this I see a, a freshman. A waffle what? Waffle cone. Okay. If I see you like make it, <laughs> yeah. But like I don't just like let me get a cone or whatever. But like if the cones is already there, you not can go get... ahead and suck it. Uh uh-uh. uh. Pause. No. But, <laughs> but no, I remember, man. Like in high school, man, we go to work. Oh my god, it's like a fucking nightmare for me to re- remember this shit. I love my high school job. I have to go to school and work for that shit. Don't make no sense. You got a teenager going to school and work. I wanted to work. So Why? I could... I just, I don't know. I just did. You ain't had no bitches. I had bitches. You had bitches, man, because you couldn't have time to go to school, work, and have bitches. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you could. Yeah. And even when I played sports, I had bitches. That's the easiest way to get bitches in high school playing sports. And if you got money and a job, or you hustle. That's how come I know I'm better than most niggas. No, I'm just saying. Because I ain't had them, I ain't had no money. <laughs> I ain't played no sports, but I had bitches. It's like... Yeah. It's like I, I I got my shit with no PEDs. Like, I ain't had no fucking HGH, none of that shit. It was just flat out me. And that make me feel proud when I stand on that podium and shit yeah. with my 20 fucking Super Bowl rings. <laughs> mother call me Tom Bilicek Brady. <laughs> yeah, I had bitches before the sports and the job, but I always wanted to work. Now, my first job, I quit after the first day. Like, I went, got it like on a Tuesday, quit that Tuesday. I like what was it? it? It was uh, nah, yeah. MCL. I wanted to go be a uh, a bus boy. So the dude instead of like the manager instead of like training me to show me how to bus tables, he just threw me to the woods and was like, just go out. Got there. overwhelmed. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? So you ain't gonna show me nothing or nothing? Like, nah, you can do it by yourself. I mean, which I, which, I mean, which I could. You come from a long line of all of us do slaves. He was one of us, so he was he was like, damn. Hey, black man, ain't a black man. Yeah. Yeah. What's the little quote they say? Yeah. What's the little shit they say on memes and shit? Every skin man ain't no kin man. Some yeah, goofy some shit. shit. Yeah, I was like, oh, I said, man, fuck this. And so I was like, hey, I'm young boy lazy. I'm, That's how they talking. That young boy lazy. I was, I'm I'm at, I was like, so then, like when I did something wrong, like you just don't. That ain't how you do it. Well, motherfucker, if you show me was the proper way and technique of putting this shit up here, I would have done it right. So, all right, you know what? I'm cool. How like you quit in the middle of the shift? Yep, you did. Mm-hmm. I done quit a couple <laughs> jobs in the middle of shift. You ever quit? But you act like you ain't quit. You like went to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> like that was, that was what Steve did in one of his jobs. Shout out to Bo, but. Uh huh. We all done. Like, I don't even understand. Like, that's slavery. Where you, you should be like, man, fuck you and fuck this job. I'm leaving. But I, you fucking, like, you, like, you on a cartoon and shit. Like, shout you. out to Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know shit. a couple people that quit. See you Tilly. tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I quit in the, uh, I was a manager at the Gap and quit in the middle of a shift. As a manager, as a manager, terrible I, leadership skills. So you gotta go down with the shit when you said managerial roles. Nah, hell nah. This, they was on some bullshit the whole week. A uh, hundred dollars came up, like a hundred dollars even came missing at the register. Oh, they knew that was a fashionista move. I reported this shit, and I was like, uh, they like, oh, you know, a hundred dollars came up missing. Like, yeah, I reported. So, anything you want to tell us? No, <laughs> motherfucker, what do you be? 
our, uh, you know, $100 came up missing. Uh, we already got that. Next day, like, 50 Like, it was, like, all even though, like, like, somebody was snatching bills. But I was always the closing manager. So, I don't know what the fuck went on before me. So, I was like, ah, they, uh. You saying the shift before you or something? Yeah, the they shift. They count the drawers when they switch shit? Nope. It's, they don't count the uh, drawers. The, whoever closed, the manager had to count the drawers and do uh, all the reports and audit. So, I was like, man, this is some bullshit. So, I was like. Are y'all gonna accuse me of stealing hundred dollars? I said, you know, I know the combination to the safe. That's oh, that was fine. Your safe, your safe never been short. It's your uh, cash register. I said, yeah, but I got the combination to the safe. They said, but well, yeah, you're cool. I said, look, if I'm gonna steal anything, that motherfucker's gonna be empty, and I would be long gone. Said, How old oh, was you? Um, twenty four. What was you doing with the money you were stealing? I didn't steal the money. Uh, if I would, t- I want to a hundred dollars, and then the next day was like fifty. So what I started you, doing, you ain't never figure out who took it. I didn't try it. One my job, I was a loss for bitches. So I just stopped counting down the registers at the end of the day. And it was fucking the, the audit up because they was having to close on the same day and open. So I said, look, stop having me close by myself. I feel y'all trying to set me up. Like, I got called the EEOC, all kind of shit. <laughs> I, I was, but you're not lost prevention, but you stitch it to the EEOC. Stitch it to the EEOC, <laughs> very busy. So, like, you know, they was like, oh, we sorry. You know, we found out who we know, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, don't have me close by myself. They found out. That's what they and said. You were still there. And I was still and there. And they didn't tell you who it was. Never told me who it was. I said, these motherfuckers trying to play me. So on the day, all the managers were there like 4 o'clock. I said, ah, oh, they finally listened. So, you know, I go in the back, get myself prepared for the day. So about 5 15, everybody gone. So, like, staff coming in. So I look at the schedule head. I close by myself. I said, ah, oh, they played me. These motherfuckers said, I said, okay, I got something for them. So I went, made all the registers down to like as small as change as possible. Put all the money in the register because I will not say I stole anything. So I left like ones, fives, and coin change. Locked my keys in the uh, the manager's office and just walked right on out. So at one point in time, they needed some change and they couldn't find me. So one of the workers called me on my cell phone. I said, hey, I don't work for you. You got called down to Keystone. But what I did, I timed it away to the head, head store manager. Got home because she lived in the tip of canoe. And it takes her an hour and 20 minutes to get home. Hey, man, it's like listening to your bitch tell a story. <laughs> it's like listening to your bitch tell a story. <laughs> it's the most boring fucking story I've heard in my but, fucking life. It's the worst story. I mean, ain't no action in it. I just quit. Nigga. And then she had to come out with it. Keyword embellish. So, yeah, I knocked, tell me about you hit the bitch in the head with a grenade. I knocked over some so, registers and shit. God, I started tell punching me a, lost. Tell me a Paul Blart mall cop yeah, story. I had the sheriff in his face. <laughs> at the, oh, my way, I left like Steve Hart. But I'm just saying, I just I quit in the middle of the day. You, yeah, you got to learn to shorten this shit up. Man, I'm waiting for the fucking climax. Uh, Man, this shit stayed one tone hose. Man. No homo. Man, that shit was like watching the bitch get ass. Oh, nigga, this shit ain't got a <laughs> pussy. Like, she's just got like a blank spot. Oh. Oh, my goodness. You led me up to nothing. <laughs> Besides, do that. what do you have? <laughs> I know you can top that. <laughs> hey, hell, no. Nah, that's what's <laughs> up, though. God damn. That shit was painful. Yeah. Man. Pain dry yet? I ain't never, I ain't never walked off no job. Yeah. Not, yeah, not during the shift. You I, not walked that I can off. You walked you off. Walk off. Walk I mean, you were, shit, you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. I could. I always feel embarrassed to walk off a shift. Do you? And that's what I'm I talking do. about. That's I'm, what I'm talking about. Like <laughs> psychologically, it's something fucked up. To like, I've snuck off a job. Have like you? at break, I'm with, I left at break. Like <laughs> I worked till break, and I was like, they're like, we'll see you back. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> And then I'm embarrassed to go get that last check if it's not direct deposit. Mm. <laughs> That's another embarrassing thing, but it's free. You feel liberated in the motherfucker, man. When you when you quit a job you hate, man, you know what you feel like? Well, you just gave a uh, I have a dream speech and everybody All clapping. Oh, your shoulders are lifted off. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What's been shaking though, man? Um, Super Bowl weekend. I can't remember I how y'all. the picks went. Good game. That, man, I we won. haven't had a better Super Bowl in a long time. Mm-hmm. Like a long time. What, what was your thoughts? Did you think at the uh, when Tom Brady had that ball, you think it was a wrap for uh, Philly? Um, I knew Philly defense would come through. I was like, man. But then they was marching. I, I always say when somebody played prevent defense, they destined to lose. That's the dumbest defense ever. Who but, played prevent? 
towards the end of the game when Philly started playing the preview defense. And Tom Brady was just marching down the downfield. Like, he had a shot. They weren't in no prevent. Uh, shit, they was only rushing uh, three men. Three, they only men. rushed four. Like, they was only rushing the the whole game, though. Yeah. They had they had a couple of blitz here and there. Just, no, I'm, they, they, man, they never blitzed them linebackers. It was always that four-man blitz. Did you see the linebackers blitz? Because that was one of the things I kept pointing out. Like, I mean, I'm like, did, I ain't bringing on no fucking linebackers. They dropped back. But I think Yeah, yeah they dropped to like a zone Like Yeah they was It zone, was a soft zone but Soft zone They uh They got They got Tom Brady on the kickoff Somehow you gotta get that ball Into the end zone or That nigga can't be running around like that Ah that pitch when they had him back there At the 10 That's what killed him I mean You don't have a fast receiver Cooks is out That motherfucker took a hell You got white shot. boys You got Gronk I mean And it took them a minute To start letting Gronk Hit the sideline On the quick little out that's what they should have started with. But they tried to go for the little um, corner hitch route where you throw it to – it didn't work. But, no, nah, I wasn't like Kobe Bryant, man. Kobe Bryant was going crazy. That last play – You got the fuck wrong with him. You got to get my – You got to Like it's your child. Shut your black ass yeah. down. <laughs> I felt like one of the white ladies on The View. Who was I was wondering why he carrying that baby cussing. You know, That's what put, she said. I'm feeling like Tell, that. This is what, what I was talking about. At the end of the, the game view. when Tom Brady threw you that like impl- I know what it is. Yeah, I, watched I know what it is. Shit. <laughs> I've heard of it. <laughs> at the end of the game, Tom Brady threw that fucking pass, and I got told the side. They threw that shit to Gronk. Gronk can't even get on the ground. <laughs> they, said, Tom, they said, Rob, why do you catch it? He said, there's too many niggas around me. <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> jumping, smacking boards. One nigga was pumping up his Reeboks and mid-jump. <laughs> one nigga was talking about the Migos new album. Boy. All in one play. But Tom Brady, he throw the ball, Gronk drop it. Kobe Bryant, I know it was controlled. He said, baby, take me. Really, yeah. what well, we don't know, he had rewind that shit on DVR. Did he? Kobe, no, to me he did. Uh-huh. But the bitch, why the bitch tape you? Like, I mean, we tape everything in this age, but why is she recording you watching the game? You know what I'm saying? She can't trust that motherfucker. She really, yeah, she really don't trust Kobe Bryant. Yeah, yeah. Then, he oh, remember he from after he raped that bitch. He he gets filmed all the time. <laughs> so oh, yeah. that's why she's filming that yeah. nigga. So she filming him and shit. And he out here, his excitement like. Do you think it's authentic? He he been he, he probably been a Philly fan forever. I mean, he's born as a there, Philly so. fan, so I can only uh, I me. Have had. Sports can sports can get you all riled up like that. Like sports get me more excited than just hey, regular life shit. I was tearing shit up in the house uh, a couple of weeks ago on the Minnesota Saints. I like what the yeah, fuck. Man. Damn, but that shit didn't even sound real. Man. No, it, it didn't. Sound it like did. he it was controlled. Got no friends. He sound like a sucker. He might not he have no like friends. A sucker. His wife and his kids. Yeah, that might be his only friends. Yeah. But he still he still seems like he's still uh. Calculate whatever. Kobe Bryant high does. level lane, like he lane. He, yeah. I mean, like that motherfucker took his hoodie in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> he that fucking lame man. Uh, but that's how come you wonder how. And when that's that's apparent from what he was saying in the interrogation room. Remember, remember yeah. when we talked about things like so you he cheated. Say lame shit. He said uh, Shaq cheated on his him? wife too. He said I, I can't just pay her to not say nothing. Like, no, he fucking And that's how you know he ain't got no fucking friends. He talking about basketball niggas. What about yeah. Jeff? Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> he said, hey, Shaq and all them, they cheat on their wives too. Okay, Kobe. But what'd you do with this white bitch? Man, you ever, yeah, he, you ever told us no, somebody? Never. I ain't even talking about like, no street shit, but like in school or anything. Never. You ever he never tattle tell to nobody? I ain't I'm talking told, about like your brothers and shit. I'm, I'm like, nah, he ain't never. Maybe a nigga you knew. Like, I told school. some bitches. Yeah. Uh, in high school, uh, middle you, school. Yeah. You told on some bitches or you told to get some bitches? Like, He's no he good. Told you. He's yeah. no good. No, I ain't never told that, but yeah, I done said something. Like what? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> I, the worst thing I ever said I was, ain't never told it somebody was cheap, but the worst, I, I ain't never did that shit either. Uh, yeah. worst thing That's I the worst said, shit. The worst thing I ever said was, you sucked his dick. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, at that age, when you 15, 16, bitch, you suck one dick. You got to suck all our dick. That's like we friends. You, you just out here just throwing mouth around and shit. Even now, and they, older. Oh, it wasn't his girlfriend. It's just a random bitch. So you gotta be random for all of us. Oh man, that was my thought process at the time. Mm. But I, ain't, I ain't never, I ain't never told on no nigga cheating and shit. Like it's crazy how how bitches confide in you. 
Paul. That's it's like, and that's how you know how bitches are at high level emotional. Because when niggas fuck with other bitches, like outside that girl, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about you like a normal nigga, though. Oh, she just drives me crazy. Nah, she got you got some more than mimosa. They drink a sangria together, shit. And all that is like... Wine. I, I don't like for no woman to like... Because you don't want your bitch down here to pillow talk with a nigga about you. Boy. All you do is play the game. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll be hey, on you social thinking, media play the thinking, game. You thinking, I wonder what's the screen name on there. Yeah. <laughs> I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder if I ever shot that nigga on Call of Duty. Boy. But um, and then if you do it, the chick just gonna probably secretly recording you. This is screenshot era. So no what? Like so, you know, they're spilling your guts about how no good your bitch is, and she just sucking it all in, recording, going back. When you fuck with, do you worry? Like you think niggas worry about bitches like recording them and shit? With I mean, we ain't talking about celebrities, nigga, who get called past all like Kevin Hart. Do you think an average ass nigga sitting around here? Yes. Like I don't know, like a bitch. Yes. Wake up. In the screenshot era, yes. <laughs> you allowed to fall asleep and sit on a bitch couch. This bitch got you on social media with fucking deer ears sleep. Hey, I don't say hey, <laughs> I done seen it done. Hey, I done, I done no. seen it done. Hey, you seen what done? A nigga sleep on the couch and you supposed to be one place and the bitches are already going at each other, so she taking pictures of him sleep and put the fucking filters that's on them. Crazy. Yeah, that's not that's, Tear your be, phone off. Bitches be spiteful <laughs> like niggas like Niggas don't do that. You need that Niggas CIA shit, like the scrambler, so you can't nigga. use your phone. Because that would be some gay shit if a nigga took a picture. Of <laughs> like, yeah. how would you react, man, hypothetically, everything hypothetical? You sitting around and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you sitting around, nigga. You get a fucking notification on your fucking Instagram. It says you have a, to accept the message. You know when somebody who you don't even know it got to say you got to accept their message, some uh, shit. My and shit you, public, you accept, so it just come. I just... Open it and read it. It can be public. You still got to, uh, like, if you don't really fuck with them, sometimes we tell you you got a, a message request. That's what uh, it is. That's like a ghost account or some shit. No, because I done got a message request from somebody before. Uh-uh. So, um. Ah, uh, yeah, I have. Well, they want you to read it. They want to make yeah, sure yeah. you read it. Yeah, I done got those before. But, um, and you get the message. It's a nigga with a picture. <laughs> your girl. And your bitch, your bitch with a mouthful of dick in her face and shit. Uh-huh. And you talking about Got your bitch. What would you do? Like, 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 and, 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 fuck it, I'm about to put some goddamn sauce on this. You look over in that bitch in bed smiling at you. Oh. She in bed smiling at you. You can her looking bitch. Yeah. First things first, I'm about to get some head, too. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody decided to get some head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, you hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. It ain't about to go well, but did you guys you know, with your dick? Yeah, you know, ah! you know, I'm out there. <laughs> you know, I, men react. There's been a lot of females where they didn't did something that whatever annoys you, pissed you off, whatever. You react. I've had a few. You react, react. Two weeks later, you wish she was still on the team at least for one more ride. So what I'm saying is, if you find that out, yeah, no me. sense in throwing away a good pussy because you about to get mad and emotion. That nigga just gonna tell her come back over. Wait, 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 wait. This ain't my wife. No, no, I said this is your girl. This is your girl. Oh, we got the, I mean. No, this is your bitch. This is my girl. Okay, so. You just got to do it. I'm still going to get some head. I'm still going to get some head before we settle this. How, you okay. can never go wrong with getting hit first. Oh, like, man, you know, you're you gonna be an emotional picture. wreck. Yeah, you gonna be emotional. <laughs> you yeah. gonna stuck in your throat on, sitting man. on the hold couch on, and nigga. shit. I ain't saying going that. I'm talking about listen, nigga, listen, right, listen, listen. Hold on, God. I gotta, you I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rehash this. She's smiling at listen, you. this is your bitch. You love this bitch. You are laying in bed with this bitch, and you are like, I enjoy this bitch. And you look at your phone, nigga. That's it. Nigga, you don't even know. Got your bitch. He sent, <laughs> he sent, he sent you a picture <laughs> of your girl with his dick in her mouth, and you got you hold look on. over in this bitch. What you looking at, babe? And, and she's smiling and at hold you. Hold on. Here's the more stuff. And it's a side by side. He got Goldie, and the other side about got your bitch. What would you like? You just say, hey, we suck my dick too. I'm not allowed to say that, it like that. You say it. No, you I don't say it like that. You I, okay, just I don't, don't ever, I don't ever reveal ahead. my cards. Go ahead. I'm going to get some head or some booty before we pro- 
See this conversation. You ain't gonna be That's a, not changing. You ain't gonna be the fuck of the But I'm not man. saying, yeah, because I gonna be. Well, it's not gonna be that type of fuck. It's gonna be that. He gonna try to kill her. Nah, not like <laughs> that. Yeah. I just want one last one because me personally, we not. So, there's so no so going you, back. So you know, this a rap. There's no going back. That's there's a rap. It's gotta be. I mean, I'm the type of guy that, man. Yeah, nah. We. I was hoping for a reason to get out of the situation. No, but I mean, you no, saying, no, you saying, no, 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 you no, saying, no. we you trying to add your, you, you trying to add some shit on too. I hear man. what you say. You cool. really love it. You don't want to do anything else. But the reality has just hit you on your phone. It is over. Yeah. Like there's nothing else to think about. But that but, don't but mean your first it. thought. Your it's first thought is, I'm going for. I'm selfish. I'm selfish. I understand that, babe. That's a hindsight thinking. You got that debit card. Now you definitely okay, so you being calculated. I'm about yeah. yeah, it's calculated. Like you can't too many times I've time. reacted to the emotion and said, Fuck you, bitch. Da, da, da. I've never been cheating on, but there's been times uh, where oh, I no. feel like a girl has given me enough of one thing that I feel like that's her commitment. You know, it's like, well, you always give me pussy on Saturday, so it's Saturday where it's pussy, you know, it's like, well, I ain't fucking with you. I'll fuck you, bitch, I ain't you. and then next thing you know, two Saturdays later. She's out for a period. Damn, it's like, man, I wish I could have got that. Nigga, more. this is deeper than missing pussy on Saturday. Yeah, this is this is this is right, deeper than missing pussy. pussy. That bitch is a real what, shit. No, no, what I, would I don't you know do? what, Okay, first, this bitch got to go. Get your ass. I'm like, I'm like, how bitches be doing when they want to show you the phone shit. Hey, go on in her. You get who, go, who's okay. dick is it? Nah, I ain't gonna who, do like this. Hold the phone <laughs> in her face. Hey, bitch, who's dick is this? Who, what the fuck you got going on here? Ah, uh, okay. No, no. Get your shit and go. You got 10 minutes before I start swinging it off on you. <laughs> oh, 10, shit. 958. Oh, 956. And I'm on the other line. Tell that nigga to give you five minutes. Nah, I'm like, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it don't matter. Just like I said. I, I, up, hey. Did he touch you since? I know somebody oh, man, that's that going there. through some bullshit like this yeah. right now. I'm and talking about, uh, man. I, what would you do first I get into that shit? I do, I probably throw up. I probably throw up. Sick. I'd be so sick. I'd be yeah. like, but it's like, like I can like, imagine emotion. Cause I'm yeah. My, I, listen, I'm not asking no pussy my or no initial. I'm not calculated like that. In, yeah. ge- in general, I'm a calculated person. I sit back, I observe, and I fix shit. Yeah. But in shit that extreme, that extreme, all right, man. Listen, it will be a calm storm. Yeah, it wouldn't be no last now. I wouldn't be hollering, and crying, and shit. It'd be real degrading. Right, bro. Hang in there. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be real degrading. I would think. Listen, I don't know. I, I, I look at my phone. I look at my phone. Hey, can you I, look at listen, that hair? I know me. My heart rate would fucking increase. It'd be like on cartoons. This shit would be beating be that your My breath gets short. I know me. I look over and I say, "You a stupid bitch, ain't you?" That's how you yeah. a stupid bitch, ain't you? What are you talking about? You scared? You stupid? No, you a stupid bitch, ain't you? What's what's this? What's, yeah. And then I was just looking to see that response and shit. Then that comes that fucking violent mush. Like, I'll push you out the bed and shit. And it's... Get out of You know what I'm saying? Get out. No. I, 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 that, that's, that's what I do know. That's yeah. that part. Now, an uppercut, it could happen. Uh, drag you down side, it yeah. could happen. Uh, you don't, on you, uh, you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to go. You need some help. Now I got Jazzy like, Jeff. You. I can only. I can only explain <laughs> like my initial reactions. Yeah. After that, I'll tell you what ain't gonna happen. You I, not, you're not gonna get no more of this dick. Yeah. <laughs> not after that goddamn display. And this nigga stunting on me. And he like, said, that, "I had he find me on. He don't even follow me. How this nigga find me on social like media? He fucked your bitch in secret. It's yeah. like he fucked your bitch. And you know what? You the sixth person to see the picture." <laughs> I, you know he showed up, nigga. You got to yeah. all that shit. You know, you got to think, man. It's, she got it too. So you got it? No, cause she wasn't. No, she got it from like, girl, Mary, oh, you did yeah. this. So he are they? She already know about the pick. And and like and like you gotta you gotta think like. And you gonna be calculated ass for some pussy in a debit card. I've already thought about this, man. I've already thought oh, about yeah. if a girl yeah. has ever cheated on me. That's all. I've all that's always been the rule. So you prepared to cheat on me? Prepare for hard. Let but me. cheating is different than a motherfucker seeing your picture. Like we doing yeah. this in an extreme yeah. situation where yeah. generally it's shocking if a man do this. We all we compared it to how women. I guess I'm saying I, I would hope that before I burn this bridge, I could at least you know go. I don't one. understand that. <laughs> yeah, I that's hope, good. I'm about I to. Hope, I hope that I can bring my like beat player. Cause, 
it's always to be player and shit is the cool shit to do. You know what I'm saying? You sit there, light cigarette up, put it out on her forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I got a hell of a story. Shit, hey, man, let me tell Nino you. Nino Brown this, her. Hey, I poured champagne on that bitch, kicked her out. Send, uh, take a picture and send it back to the other nigga. Hey, yeah. bitch be Your so... Your nigga. Yeah. Hey, bitch be so... She owned her way. <laughs> bitch be so guilty. You can do anything. He dragged that bitch in the bathroom, put her face in the toilet. Hey, that's why I told my... <laughs> My my person that I know this, I was like, you caught your bitch cheating, and all you asked for was free dinner, nigga. You, you ain't want like no threesome or nothing. I like you can that go to the stream. Like, that ain't or, like, oh, it's like you can't pay back cheating. So like, but he, you can't say I got the power now. He so, said that. Yeah, so I was like, let me entertain this. I got the power statement. So what are you gonna get out of your power? I turn on my pen up for Valentine's Day. I said, so you got the power. I said, oh, you. She, I said she gonna cheat on you again. She got a license. Yeah, she did. It was it was no repercussions. No Every repercussions. Time a woman cheat on you before it's enough. Once, it's like a single elimination tournament. Once she caught cheat, bitch, it's over. Bye. They call it. Yeah. Once she's caught. Once she's caught. If I catch you cheating, so bitch, you, you cool. Can... If she don't get caught. Hey, don't, hey. Don't, don't come back. Don't have my name in the streets. <laughs> don't have, don't have, don't have people laughing at me once out I, here. Once I, hey, if you like, shit, yeah, you better be, you better be double oh seven. Like I don't want nobody come back tell me, hey. I just send your bitch here. I send your bitch, man. Do I, that'd, that'd be the most embarrassing yeah, part. Yeah, don't come back That's to me. That's the most embarrassing yeah. part of your buddy tell you, he's, hey, man, I seen your bitch uh, in the car with a nigga. And it was foggy mm-hmm. the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I was three niggas. They mm-hmm. kept taking turns getting in out the yeah, back seat. <laughs> I, yeah. Hey, hey I, know, I know that kind of bitch from afar. Yeah. <laughs> I know that bitch. She eat two hot dogs one time. Yeah. Bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Remember how we used to have a hoe back in the day? That's how your girl was in that car. Like, oh, that, that, that'll be the thing pop up in your head. Uh huh. It will. Bitch. But I think that's. So, how many times can a girl cheat on you? I mean, you calculated with it and you prepared. As long, long, yeah. long, long as she keep that dinner card. <laughs> <laughs> and pussy on Saturday. Look, man. As long as it's something in there for me, but. Damn, Damn you, you like you a fucking woman. Me. How you think? How you think this? A nigga, tell you some shit like, "Who oh, you no. think about trying to wash her dry?" Yeah. You better keep fucking a boy. <laughs> nah, it you, can, you can flip it like that, but that's not how I look at it. Yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of people kick to the curb. Everybody, I mean, there's a use for. Her. No, not no more. Cause all it's about is love. There's a use for it's respect. Respect. It's respect. It's Cause respect. listen, my whole thing is I'm respect. saying you love the bitch, but I'm not. The love, the, whole, the love part don't hurt me because love to me is a feeling. It's an emotion. I think that if you don't respect, hold, me. I think that's exactly. It's the re, the lack of respect. Right, right, right. The love, the love. People, you do shit fucked up to people you love all the time. Yeah. But you you rare in what you do to somebody you respect, whether you respect them for whatever reason, whether it's the fear, uh, uh, the repercussions of what the fuck can happen, repercussions of what can happen. But like love, man, love is like a feeling. It ain't no shit that I don't think love dictates shit. I think the respect, and I think like once this dick hit my phone, yeah. hit my inbox, <laughs> there's no respect around here. Yeah, and respect. You know what? Of, and you took the piss she had, and, and I'm gonna beat that nigga ass. How much of it? Is your responsibility to figure out before you get to that point? Like, what do you mean? should guys you mean? have some clue? Like, should you put some time? Like, you should know some of this. So you should go like, look like for you trouble. You said about that girl eat two hot dogs. You knew yeah. she eat two hot dogs. But in a serious sense, oh, it's, it's like, like should you check these girls early enough where you can kind of do, do some? Yeah, you know, this is what it is. Not always. always but I you can always do some. say this is what it is. We are arrogant. We are arrogant as fuck, man. To where we don't think a bitch will cheat on you. Not like that, but should you at least try to test her and see? Like what? Send her a fake face? Nah, yeah. not, not like that, not like that. When you meet a girl, some some guys go for the full time relationship. When you meet a girl, should you try to see if you can push those boundaries? With you know, if, if I meet a girl, she's got a man. One thing I'm gonna try to do is you gonna fuck with me while you got a man. So you gonna like, so check for these, see, these she tendencies got with early? You yeah. She yeah. already had yeah, like, man. Uh, or she, why would she cheat? Before you start on dating you. her, shit, you try to see how far she willing to go. Like the reason why you don't do that though, because you gotta look at each shit like individual. Yeah. And like I say, the arrogant shit. You feel like you better than her last nigga. Mm-hmm. So you thinking she couldn't possibly cheat on me. She already told me the dumb shit he was doing. I'm way better than him. Yeah. And he, if it comes to that, but I'm telling you, man. Is being you don't see and and women be talking that women intuition shit. I hate that stupid shit. All it is is bitch you nosy. 
You pay attention, I don't. What about when the guy say his intuition? His pussy get wet. Like I'm saying, men men don't sit around here like, I ain't never told no bitch, I had a feeling you was doing I ain't never said that shit. Because even if you get the feeling and shit, nigga, you react in. You don't sit out here with your goddamn detective Caluso coat on and shit, (laughs) magnifying glass. Two hats on. Yeah. So it's like, the thing is, women pay attention to shit. So, because... It's an emotion. Like, they pay attention to emotional shit. That's why you don't have titles. What do you mean? Nah, I mean, you just don't have no title with no chick. Just, what do you mean? just hang and do what you do. If it's your do. bitch and shit, it's your bitch. Yeah, if like, it's That's some cool player shit to say, but if it's your bitch, you know it's your bitch. She know you your bitch. If you say that no title shit, then you don't have a right to get angry and shit if she got there sucking recreational dick. So I was going, I was going off, I was going off what he said, like, push her to the boundaries, whatever. Like, just don't have no title on. Right then and there. That's what I mean. Like I don't, I, you stay away from the titles. You see what she going, she will. But, but we talking about this your girl. Obviously, uh, like, like, girl. Saying initial stage right, right, though. Yeah, this, he's saying he's initial stage. The, so I mean, like, how that's, much? And that's what I'm saying. How much of the initial stage plays a role in you getting cheated on later? Like, because she got to go. Yeah, Once I find out she cheated, she got to go. End the story. Ain't no coming back. I ain't gonna be like when you like the bitch. When you meet the bitch, you like the bitch and shit. You ain't thinking about you. So then, you think clean slate type shit. So how many chances should they really get? Like, one, really nigga. Like what this, part are you? T- one. You really like this female. One. Does that make men weak? So I'm just playing devil's. I'm just asking. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I don't. If a woman who really likes a nigga can get cheated on, as we all say many times. Many times. Can we not stomach two or three? I, I, I hell no. Nah. It ain't, ain't no ain't equalizer it. type shit, yeah. though. It ain't no <laughs> equalizer. Yeah. It ain't no equalizer. So, hell How no. many chances will it take Fuck for you? No. I mean, I ask you. you I man, keep saying every one. Man deserve to get cheap. I mean, every man deserve to be forgiven at least two billion times. <laughs> every man deserves <laughs> two billion ain't times. Ain't no forgiveness. But, <laughs> but I mean, in... in, in. One, no, one. I, I keep saying that. No, I think I think it's subjective. To no, the in actuality, one, like we had this story about when I found out the bitch was fucking somebody else, it was over. I don't no, be I'm like. Then you answer. went back and said that wasn't even your girl. Right. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, dude. Once you fucking I'm somebody saying, else, I'm looking at not my me? life, not your life. No, listen. I think I think you said. I think it's individual. I think it's variables to the situation. What's the status of your relationship? Are y'all going through some rough shit? Did she fucking your house? You know what I'm saying? Is Did the nigga come somebody? to your house and pick you up from the house? You know, yeah, yeah, shit like that. Like, the, the, I think what it, the respect level. My shit still. Won. I think that's what it like. I what it determines. I'm not disagreeing with you. I put a bitch I'm out saying, at three in the I morning. Like, like if, we, we had if the title and everything. Hypothetical situation really applied. The emotion you really care for. Are you really just yeah. letting her go after one dick winner? One That's dick. Different, like, man. I was damn near there. Me and the girl had a title and everything. I found out she was fucking the dude. Did everything except send a pic. Was, Three she, o'clock. was she your girl? Yes. Okay. Three o'clock in the morning, bitch. Go. Bye. You I, put her out like that? In yeah. the morning, yes. Uh, and her, her friends this was look, about the uh, car wash shit. Nah, this wasn't the car wash shit. This, this was different. This was an actual, like, we... Oh, do tell. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Do tell. Do tell, oh, shit. We was really tell. fucking around and everything, and, um... See, you bi- suppressed this memory. <laughs> we bring <laughs> this <laughs> shit up. <laughs> we <laughs> bring this shit up last time. And, uh, so, like, me and the bitch are really going together. I told you off uh, air. I never told you on air. Okay, okay. So, um, like, I, uh, the bitch just started acting, like, moving real weird and shit, so... Like she had a job where she if she worked half a day, she had to be there at twelve and get off at like one or some shit. <laughs> I had dinner ready. So the bitch was it's like cold now. Nah, so she like, Yeah, I gotta go to work. Uh I gotta work a half a shift. I go in at ten thirty. And so I was like, Ah, okay. And so I was just sitting up front watch T V, phone ringing, phone ringing. And so <laughs> like, damn, this it's, it's just so and so, you know. I pressed her about it. She finally came clean. But the nigga ended up calling my phone like, yo, you know, we been fucking something, something, something. Uh, Wait a minute, man. He's a bitch. Yeah. That's a bitch nigga, though. Yeah. That's Kate, like, nigga. I mean, like. He just asked your permission. The nigga was in love. Like, yeah, hey. doing that for me. <laughs> 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 Apparently, he was, like, in love with her. And so, like, you know, like, yeah, she probably yeah, was, he, she fucking telling, like, all the bad shit I'm doing. And so, yeah, and then once I found out. And so once I found out, I was like, hey, time for you to go. 
shit. Like it's three in the morning. I ain't gotta go to work. First of all, bitch, had to be there twelve thirty. So uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He called you. He ca- he kept calling her phone. Did he call my? And I was like, damn. I, I, hey man, can you go and go girl up? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, she ain't answering her phone. Hey, I ain't trying to have oh, to work. Nah, oh, he, he was basically like, you know, are y'all still fucking? Cut it? His feelings was involved. He's like, you know. Uh, Matter of fact, nigga, just put me on speakerphone. Are, are y'all still fucking? Are y'all still fucking around or whatever? I like, oh, uh, shit. Uh, fuck, oh, nigga. Charlie, tap her a little bit. Tap her a little bit. Nah, hey, I wouldn't call, call you Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> you call Charlie. So shit, I oh, woke shit. her up like, hey. Your, your nigga, nigga on the phone. Your, your nigga on the phone, so shit. That's what you said. Yeah, hey, she was man. like, uh. That's so fucking bitchy. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I know it is, but I don't know how the other way to do it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I was like. It's a foreign shit. It's yeah. a foreign shit, so I was like, hey, shit. your nigga on the phone. You only think about what you see another bitch do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, shit. She like, you what do you think? You hot grits. <laughs> I'm so this bitch. <laughs> Boy, some water, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so shit, I was like, hey, you gotta go. She like it's where I'm a goat oh, to this nigga's house. Oh, you can't shit. you can't come back here. Did she go to his house? I don't know. That's the move. Like yeah. bitches like in that situation, yes. a bitch would think that's your last move. Bitches think like survivors. Yeah. Like listen, bitch think like survivors. They say, Can I can I, can I? No, well, you know, I'm gonna go over his house. And, and like, that's, and that's the real, initial. That's, and she yeah. had a lot of shit. Hey, bitch, what you want my door for? <laughs> she had a lot of shit at the crib, too. I like shit. It, it on. <laughs> nah, I said, bitch, get a U Haul. Don't come back in no car or nothing. Like, you know, I ain't gonna do none of your shit, but you ain't gonna get you a U Haul to get all your shit out one trip. She said, What do you mean? I said, Bitch, one trip. So I was gonna take. I can't, I can't. I can't even look at so you. So you don't even have the conversation. Like, look. What's the conversation? Don't yeah. disrespect me. Since disrespect's already happened, so the why disrespect already happened. Again, like, get rid of you. Never One down time. At all. So like, you trying to get him to forgive her? Yeah, he trying to give me be a sucker <laughs> like him. No, I'm just uh, asking uh, questions. You know, no, audience I, that's listening. Yeah, shout yeah. out to the audience. Listen. I'm just trying to think Ladies y'all might be If thinking. we get together and we and serious, and up, you my woman, and you cheat, you got one time. So don't have shit at my crib. So she don't have no time. No time. Yeah, yeah. once you get caught cheating once, bitch, you gone. I don't mean bitch as in disrespectful as a term of endearment. Like, you yeah, my bitch. At that point, it's die bitch. Yeah, at that point, like, bitch, you got to go. One time. What if it was just on. Like, it don't matter, aside. You know, what if it was a quickie with a nigga on the elevator come on? That's even shit. worse. That's even worse. I'd rather for you leaks that. Yeah, I'd rather like for you leaks like the nigga. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That could have been anybody in the elevator. Yeah, I, yeah. Nah, it's uh, one time. Yeah. Once I found that, and that's well, fucked up. That I gotta say that. Huh? Liquor don't Man, shit. You think bitches really drunk? Don't know well, they fuck. Fucking yeah. another girl. Would you break up? That ain't cheating. That's not cheating. You bring her that home to cheating, us. That's a hell of a story to tell. Where he? Yeah. Uh, uh, he, 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 what was she bitch saying? Look like a nigga though. Dyke. Yeah, one that was now, there. Now we now go. Now then we gonna go find us one that don't look like a man. God, if if know, she man. eat pussy, she gonna eat some other so pussy. Eat your ass. Huh? You must say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play with the butt, so hey, yeah. I mean, oh well. Oh shit! Oh, just... oh shit! But like I said, man, I think I think it's different things. It's so like... how many times for you? You keep you. I, you. No, I'm gonna ask these questions to, to kind of. I always about, tell you know people I mean? this though, right here. This is what I tell people, and this this is like across the board. Anything in life. You never know. Like, you can always say, me and Asada had this discussion, what you would do until right, you get right. in a certain situation. And I've all, I've been in a situation and shit where I said I wouldn't do something, and I didn't know I wouldn't actually do it until I got in that situation. Mm. Like, you find, find out who the fuck you are. Like, right here, right now, you can say, yeah, nigga, pull a gun on me. I ain't running. Huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here. Speedy. But, like, you never know who you are until you see situation. But from the outside looking in, like, you see niggas who... Who got the will of a woman? You know what I'm saying? Hey. Like, man, that nigga's strong like a bitch. Like, I bet that didn't give birth without an epidural. <laughs> like, twin, <laughs> yeah, natural. Man, like, your bitch getting fucked in your house. You know what I'm saying? Like, and niggas who sit through that, like, that's some powerful. Like, that's a strong woman. Hey, I know somebody going through some shit. Like, his girl. When the fuck the nut like the nigga came to the house and picked this girl up. That's that's high level. That's like and he stayed like that's high level. Like, like hey y'all be safe y'all have fun you need some money. But she didn't know she snuck out the house and he found out on her way back. What she in. do? Climb out the window down a sheet? Well, <laughs> she's had a fucking grown person sneak well, out. Well, not think out. She just left while she like you know just left while he was upstairs and just boom. So the dude then parked directly for the house. He probably parked in the house front of the house next to her. That's crazy. Yeah. Bitch take off. Before. You been that nigga before? Park Pick down bitch the up. Street. Yeah. You, to a bitch that had a nigga? To a bitch that had a nigga? 
Yeah, kind of, sort of, yeah. I done hit it. I done hit a bitch in her crib, like in a crib before. I have. Like, that's foul as fuck, like that. Yeah. I, you, I never. Just, like, you deserve to get shot. You do some shit like uh-huh. that. You, if you park in front of the house, you deserve to get shot at. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, I park down. Carry on. Yeah. I'll be ready to take off. You but know? yeah, he he I found out he stayed. Come and hit her in her garage while her husband was upstairs asleep. Whoa. <laughs> That's hot, man. Like that, that shit make you like. Well, at least the summertime. Or something. I can't remember the season. I know it was the season I wasn't fucking in. Say so you are, but g- like it's it's shit like that, man. Where it's it scare you about bitches, cause you know, man. Listen, like I said a couple weeks ago, and you where you don't think bitches do shit. That's another thing when I say the arrogance. You put a bitch on the pedal, so you used to think this bitch ain't gonna do this. Damn, bitches be doing foul shit. But remember, I said that a couple weeks ago. Like, I, I thought everybody was cheating. Shout out to my upbringing. I told you, I didn't think no bitches cheated. Yeah, I, I thought uh, bitches. I think at one point in my life, I didn't think bitches outside my house shit it. Yeah. I told you, man. I thought yeah. only my relatives. I thought I don't need the shitty booty su- uh, sisters and shit. <laughs> I thought every other woman, unless she is fat, black, with ashy elbows, <laughs> I didn't think nobody else shit it. And that's like my first fucking discovery that women was. Kind of fucked up when I found out my next door neighbor who was real light skinned and pretty shitty. Changed my whole perception of her. Oh man. So like it's just like with women cheating. At one point you don't think they do that shit, man. Then like you start dealing with different bitches in different situations. You start thinking, man, these bitches are worse than us. Who cheated first? Man or woman? woman? Man don't cheat. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> <Atlanta> <laughs> shit. <clears throat> Jay, look, I didn't say nothing. Shut you up. Look, you shut me up. I just asked a question. No, we, I think it's all dialogue. I think, I think though, like men cheat sometimes, but we can get on that. Men cheat sometimes. Yeah, we do. Elaborate how we put ourselves in a game that we shouldn't be in, and we cheat on it. Now, if you don't want the title and you can't live up to it, don't take it. But See, there's times yeah. when we take the title. I mean, what's oh, cheating? Because yeah, no, we just books. no, we just oh, we just define it. The I respect. We're gonna because some of us play that card. Because I played that card. What's uh, cheating to you? Playing a playing a role that I want, I don't want, and then I don't live up to it. Is it a role that you that you put on yourself? A role that she put on you? Yeah, that's a difference. She was offering to me, and I knew what came with it. It's like you can be my boyfriend. But I'm like, saying, man, you, I get to push you all the time. So. But I'm saying, I'm saying, I think, I think, it, I don't mm-hmm. know, man. That's yeah. that's a. That's a but I mean, yeah, from the definition that we put on them, you know. If, but if do you think it's the same thing? I don't now, think I the urge, the not, desire, not, doesn't come from the same. I'm place, talking about but in your liberal, with not outside the liberal thinking. <laughs> do you think it's natural for like a man? Like, a, do you think it's a natural reaction? Do you think you have to train yourself to just fuck with one woman? Do you think you have to make yourself? Fuck well, see, with that's what we differ. I mean, not differ, but that's two conversations. You know, what I mean, I know no, what you say. I agree with you. Saying, saying, the innate, the we've initial had feeling, because like you were that, gonna say that's that this natural, for different that's reasons. That's natural. The one we hunters gather. You yeah. know what I mean? But I'm saying in situations where it's like I don't really want to be with this girl, but then this is the way to keep this girl. So. Let me go ahead and say, yeah, I'll be you, man. And then that's when they say the shit like, just give me what they so say. So we take an easy way out, trying to make a decision. Give me a chance. Yeah. Yeah. The thing with that it. is, though, man, like the first thing when women in new situations got to realize is you're not gonna make this nigga be faithful. There's yeah. nothing you can do to make a nigga do nothing. He has to come around on his own terms. And most times, it's like with age, like with maturity. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's, and I don't even want to say maturity. I think you just get tired. You know what I'm saying? It's like basketball. Like, you think, why this nigga still playing? He old as fuck. He still loves the game. He has to quit when he wants to quit or he won't be happy. You know what I'm saying? Sitting at home and shit, talking about he should have played two more seasons, mm-hmm. shit like that. I could be like Magic Bird. But, it's a, but on the other end, man, it's but. like, you, a woman's been wanting to quit <laughs> right after high school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If she don't strip If a first. bitch still hooping in her 40s and shit. <laughs> if a bitch in her 30s and 40s, she's failed. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she's still out here... At, at the club every weekend and shit, or you ain't got to be in the club. Some bitches think because they don't go to the club, it's a damn hoe. Yeah, I, I, just, I don't get that. If you just randomly just fuck with niggas, then you, it's just a different. I don't know. Like women, women definitely don't get it. But any man, I guarantee you what I'm saying, man. Like a high level number of men, like ninety percent of men, understand what the fuck I'm saying. And like it, it, it's weird though, because I don't know. But I what, what I, I was gonna say something else before that man. Besides, I start fucking with the phone and threw me off. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm gotta blame somebody. Yeah, he the freeze six and a half fitted hat. <laughs> but look, man, we go. Hey, this is. Hey, yeah. listen, a lot of women can benefit yeah. from listening to this show. Yeah. Hey, man, oh, I got some. Hey, that nigga hat here. <laughs> hey, yeah. take your hat off again. Shit, like a fucking a rap, nigga. <laughs> What'd you say? I got some. So I posted uh, on uh, Instagram. On Instagram. When your man got company, you supposed to take your ass in the other room. I was like, real shit. You know, I don't want my bitch prancing around. What'd you but, feel about that, Asan? Do you agree with that? Say that again? Okay. When your man got company, you supposed to take your ass in the other room. The chick's supposed to go in the other room. Now, I know you're a strong black man out here. So, how do you feel about that post? Like, is it cool for your girl to be in the room with you? And you got to dig over there or something? Yeah. Nah, I mean, I, I look at it too. Well, I mean, if you ask my real opinion. Yeah, like, we, that's what, that's if, what I'm asking. If, if me and my girl in the living room, like in the main room, let's just keep it simple. In the main room, my buddy come over. There's already a plan in place. Either we're going to go to the garage and smoke one, or we're going to go to the living room or whatever, play video games. But if the main room is where... You know that that's the only hangout spot, and I think if you got a good enough girl, she understands. Okay, What's the, let me get up and get out of. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, I mean, let me I'm get up and get out shit. of the uh, space. You know what I mean? Even if it's just to go into the kitchen, kind of get into her own thing. But I don't expect her to sit on the couch, you know, the whole time, unless it's a close friend of both ours. So, I mean, I guess I agree with it, right? Like, I, I agree with what Corey saying in the sense that, like. You put that stat? Yeah. Okay. That, that, I mean, it should be a natural reaction. Like, yeah. you, you yourself shouldn't want to sit around her and her friend. Yeah, that's what I said. If she, Unless they're trying to rape you. It, it, <laughs> then it, 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 you have to consider sitting around watching fucking uh, like Keeping that. Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> but in reality, like, a man shouldn't want to sit around. But you have seen them situations and shit like where, and it's it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Were you with, were you over your buddy crib and the bitch running around? In some scantily clad. Yeah, that's you know what, what I'm saying. saying. Like, like that. Yeah, it's girl, go back. So this chick put tough. He better get over it. Hit, so she want to fuck one of her dudes' friends. Yeah, so that's I what said, that is. nah, it's the principle. If it's people over, yeah, it's cool. But him and his buddy, nah, you need to be out. Uh, be out. She, she looks funny if you hanging around this other nigga like you trying to fuck. She like, nope, no, guess that's why we don't have company because company ain't about to dictate where I go in my house. That's fucked up. See, that I bitch, too. She don't got a man, do she? Yeah, she does. He's niece. a bitch. Yeah, so I said, if your homegirl come over, do you want your man all in the room with child him just floating around her and shit? It's not about dictate. It's more about the respect or the principle. No, it is dictate. These are the fucking rules. You no, fucking black women don't like to hear you when you use the word get your ass out of here. So that's why they be a rebellious. No, it ain't black women. It, that's a particular black woman. Yeah, it's a particular, a particular yeah. black woman. You have to say that to. A, a, a black woman with sense and shit, you ain't got to say too much to Yeah, you they ain't got to tell like, to fucking act. Because I, I wouldn't want to, because I... I would want to be around my girl and her buddies like that. Like, now if we just all chilling. That's weird, that's man. Weird, like, I can't yeah. imagine a woman like, hey, how do you argue like that? Like, if I with a girl and she's like, hey, Stacy coming over. All right, I'm either I'm about to leave or I'm going to be in the back on ESPN or some shit like that. I'm not going to be up there in y'all conversation. Like, girl, did you see such and such? I don't, I don't want to be no part of that. Just like, if my nigga come over and I got a girl, like, hey, you know, I shouldn't have to tell you. Uh, that shit crazy, man. That shit crazy. Yeah. Keep going, keep talking, baby. Be ah, be, be, be. But yeah, you interrupt me with your yeah. phone and shit. But yeah, I just, I just feel that, uh, like it's just a, a natural respect, like it's something you should automatically do. Like, like I've been over it. Damn, so disrespectful. John has jumped over Tim Hardaway Jr. head. Nigga. Yeah, like literally jumped over his fucking head. Look at this shit. That shit's crazy. <sighs> He be Tim Hardaway Jr. Be get his bitch fucked him when he upstairs <laughs> sleep. Yeah, but, uh, but what was you saying though? But yeah, I just feel like you know you over there half like you said the scanty clothes and shit. Nah, go go that. How they say the letter? Go that away or that part? How they that way? Man. That way? Yeah, that way. Man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's that just way. common sense. I can't yeah. believe a fucking a person would have an issue with that. Like, how man. are you that fucking strong? Had a serious. How yeah. are you that goofy bitch? I don't like that shit, man. Like that's 
That's a, she she said black bitches back at least twenty years in my mind with that statement. Like what yeah. what is that to argue? How how are you that defined? Yeah, she, I ain't gonna let nobody dictate where I go in my home. But it's well, it's not a dictation. That ain't nothing to be strong about. Man. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't no fight to fight. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Like. What, was she the only person who acted ignorant like that? The only. Everybody else. Even chicks was a girl. She's the only one. I mean, because most chicks yeah. have that fucking thought process and shit. Like, that's 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 shocking to me. Like, somebody try to argue that right there. Because yeah. it's, it's like a bitch saying, what you doing with my purse? You ain't supposed to hold purses. I am too. I can hold purses. Yeah. Like, niggas, you better sit your ass down. I can go in there and get your wallet out and pay for stuff. Yeah, uh, that's nah. crazy right there, though. How you ever held a chick purse? Yeah, everybody held a chick purse. I mean, it's uncomfortable, and it, I, I want to do it again because I felt like it was a test. Let me see how stupid this nigga is. Hold this. See if I can get away with it. Yeah, but that's when you want some pussy bad, though. You don't do that shit later on when you got sense. Mm. I don't know. They, all, they women always they always try to fag you up. You know what I mean by that man? Like they, hey, it's like some you. it's some <laughs> animal shit that until they figure out that you a real man, then they just accept you for the. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you one more before we go. I want to tell you a term that I never understood. Like when chicks say she's an alpha female or alpha woman. What the fuck is that? I, I, don't, yeah, I don't know what that is. You know what that is, is a son? He going. No. Nah. Yeah, you did you hear what I said? Yeah. Alpha female. Uh, yeah. 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 You ain't never yeah. had an alpha female in your life? I one that cheated some... on you that you kept find a will to go well, back. I wouldn't call alpha female one that cheats. That's an oxymoron. Alpha female is probably one that thinks that she understands men enough to be able to get a man that would normally be straying on or cheating or however they classify and do right. You know, and I've that, seen some alpha female. What's an alpha female? Where they run, where they run the dude. They run. Like, yeah. I mean, when the dude doesn't step up to that alpha, that just role. make him not an alpha male. That don't make her an alpha female. That just mean he's a beta okay, male. Okay, so then an alpha fi- what? I'm, I'm not saying they exist, I'm but an alpha rhetorical. female would have to be a female that that's in charge of run shit. Like who would be? Who would fit that category? <laughs> I see what you're saying. I right. see what you're saying, but I don't think it makes her an alpha female. I think it makes him a beta male. Right, right, yeah. You consider yourself alpha or beta? Alpha. Alpha female just hasn't been trained. There you go. There you go. There's some females that be some alphas among their peers, among other females, and among some niggas. This nigga be getting punched. Kardashian yeah. might be an alpha female. Have a chick ever hit you? My niggas are fags. They be sitting here watching Keep Up with Kardashian. They try to justify that shit to me off air. They say this funny. You sent me a snap this you morning. Fucking <laughs> you were fucking And we got it on recording. Run the tape back. <laughs> <laughs> Snapchat area. Hey, these niggas have been tried to get, tried to make me think watching the Kardashians is funny because it's funny it'd be black people in there. That's what they say. It's funny is black people in there. But that it, it's true though. It's a lot of funny shit with black people in there. I don't mean, I watch white people and shit. That's like staring in the window watching somebody wash dishes. But that don't make it a is bad Nick show because it's white alpha female. Huh? Is Rihanna an alpha female? Who's no, an alpha? She's just a who would be the closest female to being an alpha female? Nah. So then, who's close to the nun? Zero. Who's the first one in the line zero. of zero? But back to what oh, the fuck. But back to what the fuck Corey Might said. Be. Stabman run that shit. Stabman's clearly running that bitch. He in the best position as far as any man. I doubt it. Ever. You fucking Oprah at the end of the day. That's Oprah. You fuck. He's not in the best position. If my if you you a whore, Kobe's buddy, wife. Buddy I make you. Because <laughs> she stuck around after that fucking uh, Colorado rape. But. uh but she back, It do make a difference that you sitting around watching white people on a reality show. That shit's corny. You as a fucking 40-year-old black man watching fucking 20, a fucking 21-year-old white girl wondering if she had a baby. That's that a shit shame. is weird That's as fuck. We got to work on Corey. <laughs> <laughs> you were the main one hey, selling it. Nah, he said I'm the main one. He, <laughs> did, he didn't take himself out there. He just said I'm the you, main one. I saw him back there too. I saw him watching. <laughs> but Asal sent me earlier. Asal sent me earlier this week when Kali had that baby. I didn't, he t- I didn't he know sent me the message. Shit. And I was disappointed. But I was happy I for him. I you was telling people. Yeah, the nigga cigars and shit. <laughs> now, baby announcements. You, how you think it's your baby? So do you think Tiger's I upset? Wish. I'm out right, here. We, out here. Here. <laughs> we ain't gonna say anything about Tiger, uh, Tiger feelings and shit. But for the record, he has to feel some kind of way. We holler at y'all next week. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>